of cooperation across divides of politics and ideology. We will be drawing on an experience with which South Africans are familiar and which served our country well at a time of great difficulty and division. 30 years after the achievement of democracy in 1994, we are, as the people of South Africa, once again called upon to ensure that we collaborate and that political parties should come together to forge a common future for our country. But it is not only political parties that need to come together. We believe that there is a need for a national dialogue which brings together all parties, all social partners, and all sections of society to seek consensus on the actions required to take the country forward. Such a national dialogue will enhance our pressing task of rebuilding social cohesion in a fractured society following a particularly toxic and divisive election campaign. With regard to the practicalities of the way forward, the NEC has benefited from a report on the preliminary, preliminary engagements our task team has had with various political parties. The task team is composed of five national officials, except for the president and the deputy president, that is convened by the Secretary General, together with other members of both the NWC and the NEC, as well as officials who support them. We have already held constructive discussions with a number of parties, the Economic Freedom Fighters, the Nkata Freedom Party, the Democratic Alliance, the National Freedom Party, the Patriotic Alliance. We have also engaged our alliance partners to brief them on the process and will continue to seek their invaluable views and guidance. The ANC has entered these discussions with an open mind and a commitment to speak to all parties that have a stated intention to advance the interests of the people of South Africa. As the NEC, we have already agreed in April 2023 on certain principles that should guide our approach to collaborating with other parties in coalitions. The principles we will collaborate with other parties are based on advancing the building of a united, democratic, non-racial, non-sexist and prosperous nation. We further said that any such agreement of working with others must be based on a common minimum program that focuses on measurable targets for economic growth and inclusion, on service delivery and development. All parties must commit to shared values nation building and social cohesion. Now these values include respect for the constitution of the Republic of South Africa and the rule of law, social justice and equity, human dignity, non-racialism and non-sexism. These values also include stability, accountability, transparency, integrity, community participation, and good governance. Agreements between parties who would be involved in this whole process should, in the end, be in writing. They should be public. They should also be transparent and include measures for holding all participants accountable. 
our approach to how provincial governments are formed, where we do not have an outright majority, will be guided by the same principles. The ANC notes that we do have ideological and political differences with several parties in our political landscape. However, we will not preclude the possibility of working with any party so long as it is in the public interest and it is in keeping with the principles that they have articulated. Guided by these principles, understanding the needs of the country and appreciating the express will of the people, the National Executive Committee has agreed to seek agreement amongst parties on the formation of the Government of National Unity. This NEC has therefore mandated our negotiating task team to proceed to engage with parties on this proposal of a GNU. They will also reach out to broader range of parties to enrich the process and promote inclusiveness. We have directed the task team under the guidance of the national officials, the working committee, to develop in greater detail the modalities and button down our principles and the governance framework to guide all the parties to the government of national unity to ensure that it is coherent and effective and is aimed at serving the interests of the people of South Africa. We have agreed as this NEC that it is both necessary and strategic that we act in a manner that seeks to unite the broadest range of social forces and isolate those that seek to ca cause chaos and instability and division. As the ANC, we will be reaching out to formations across society to build a shared program for social and economic change. In the coming days, we will be convening meetings of ANC structures to discuss the conduct and outcomes of the election, the immediate priorities, as well as the way forward. As the election results emerged last week, there was some measure of fear that the outcomes would lead to fragmentation and instability. Following election campaigns that tended towards polarization, there was a measure of fear as well that South Africans would not be able to work together. There was also fear that the transformation of our society would be disrupted and that our efforts to rebuild the economy would be derailed. Yet, as this NEC has determined, the outcome of this election presents an opportunity to forge a more inclusive, cooperative, and an effective approach to governance. It presents to the people of South Africa an opportunity to bring political parties and social partners together to address the challenges that concern most South Africans. A government of national unity is the most viable, the most effective and most powerful way of meeting the expectations of all South Africans at this particular moment. We are called upon as this leadership and as a movement to give effect to the will and to the wishes of the voters of this country. As I conclude, allow me to extend on behalf of the National Executive Committee our sincere thanks to AMC volunteers throughout the country. Also to our employees and our veterans and our stalwarts who worked tirelessly to reach voters across the country 
to bring them out to vote. We also extend our thanks, more importantly, to the people of South Africa who turned out in their millions to vote and to affirm their confidence in democracy and in the future of our country. And those important people, the people of South Africa, we thank them, irrespective of which party they voted for. We, as the African National Congress, we thank them. Our democracy has been hugely enhanced, and the people of our country have spoken, and we accept their vote and the way they have concluded they are voting. Thank you very much. Uh, let's do this. As I said, this is not a media conference. We are closing a meeting. Uh, the SG and the communication team will talk to the media about a fully fledged media briefing. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, you stand released. <laughs> there are no questions. Oh, oh, oh. Any members, I think you should allow the media to leave first and then we leave. Them. But otherwise, this NEC is adjourned. Thank you.